Good afternoon everyone, this is Sue's Journal Adventures. <laughs> Joined here today by another ginger bottom. Uh, this one belongs to Charlie. Um, Oscar's, the, the cats in the house have decided that my desk is now the place to be. And um, yeah, that's not very conducive to uh, crafting especially when glue and scissors are involved and there's fluffy tails lurking about. <laughs> Keep it to yourself, Charles. So I'm on here to try very hard to make something. Um, I haven't been on here for a while, um, over a week. And I'll tell you the reasons for that as I go on, but I kind of want to create as I'm going because you don't just want to listen to me waffling on. Um, oh, my creativity is in a bit of a lull at the moment, um, which happens to us as creators. It does happen. Um, but mine is, it's in a lull to, you know, usually crafting, DIY, knitting, crocheting, uh, scrapbooking, journaling, painting, all these artistic pursuits, gardening, anything like that, it's therapeutic. And so when you're doing your crafting, it takes your mind off everything else. Just lately, what's happening to me is when I'm crafting, because I guess I'm upset and angry over something, I can't seem to create anything that I think is even half decent then I'm getting angry at myself because I can't create something but I'm not really angry at myself. <laughs> Jan, um, one of my um, ladies that follows me, she she commented the other week um, about me being angry at myself um, and she made the comment, find out what it is you're really angry at. I know what I'm really angry at. Um, <clears throat> at the moment, my stress levels are through the roof. We all know that stress is bad for your health and stress is called the silent killer. When you have got an illness like I have got, and I'm not talking about my fibromyalgia, I'm talking about something else, it is detrimental to my health. It, it can have a really seriously bad effect on me. But at the moment, I'm stressed out to the max because there's several things going on and... One of them in particular, I have no control over it. So it's frustrating, it's making me angry, it's hurting me, it's making me upset. And I don't actually know how to deal with it, if I'm honest. So I come and I craft and I play and then I can't craft and then I'm getting angry at myself then because it's like, oh, why can't you do something? Why can't you just make something? So today I'm going to try really hard. <laughs> to make some work because just lately I've been doing pages in my journal but I've been doing stuff that you know you just don't feel it's quite up to scratch but that's probably me being a bit of a perfectionist as well although I'm not totally a perfectionist because not everything I make is perfect as you will know if you watch my videos <laughs> so with this cat bum in the way I've got small space to work in don't you give me the foot. Um, so I'm going to try and make some. But I saw this idea. I went, oh gosh, what have I done with it? I literally just had it here. Before I set the camera. This is just, this always happens. Well, that's there, but where's the other bit of it? Is that it? No, that's not it, but it'll do. It'll be a good substitute if I can't find the other bit. I can't find it. Are you laid on it, Charlie? It's like, no, mum, I'm not laid on it because you didn't put it over here because I've been laid here all the time. I did put it over there, actually. Right, so, <laughs> excuse the cat rear end. I don't know if you can hear him purring. He's really super loud, is Charlie. He's my big fluffy boy. And he is a big boy. He is massive. I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he's got some Maine Coon in him. He's got massive feet, massive paws, loads of toe fluff. I love his toe fluff. I love playing with his toe fluff, but he, he's not right keen on me playing with his toe fluff. But um, he's actually over 5 kg, this cat. He's about 5.4 kg. He's, he's a huge beast. And he's happily purring away here on my desk where he really shouldn't be. 
but hey we're going to craft anyway so this might not be the paste paper that i had actually right so recently i was watching um reading reading i was scrolling through facebook and a lady on facebook and this isn't the piece of lace either, <laughs> a lady commented you know when we do those lace flips in our journals it's a great idea and we love them don't we we love doing them little fa lace flips or fabric flips but the problem is when you're turning the pages over the fabric flips and then if you don't know and you close your book your fabric could be squashed in an awkward position and it might stay like that so this lady suggested when you are making a fabric flip <laughs> i really don't know where mine's gone oh it's here it's here whoops it's here so when you're making a fabric flip she suggested instead of just gluing the flip onto your page and then you're lifting it up and down but it's floppy flippy flappy why not glue it onto a piece of coffee dyed paper so you glue the actual piece of lace down onto the paper so it doesn't move you've still got a fabric flip it's just that it flips better because it's on a piece of paper it don't get moved it don't curl up and you've got the added bonus of the paper on the back to use as journal space so I thought, wow, that is a cool idea. I like that idea. So I got this out and I'm playing in my journal. And like I've said, getting very frustrated with myself because I thought, OK, that looks nice on the page. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Get your fluff away. Um, I'm happy with that. But then on the page, it just looked lost. And I'm like, OK, but what else do I do on there? What else do I put on there? Can I just put that on there? I can't just stencil every page or stamp every page. So I was trying to be creative and come up with something and I didn't really come up with much. So I decided because it <laughs> that looks nice on there. I like that. I do like that. Um, and I am going to use it as a flip. I'm not sure where yet. <clears throat> but because this looked a bit lost on the page, I thought we'll make a full size page one. Get a full size A5 piece of coffee dyed card. Put some lace on it, which I did. <clears throat> excuse me and I would show you but I think Charles is laid on it <clears throat> and I think it's right under that big fluffy belly um look at his little curls oh my days um yes yeah, so <laughs> sorry um so it's a full-size piece with a cream a piece of this lace glued onto it but then that annoyed me because I put it on a page and I'm thinking well that looks really boring. What am I going to do to that now? You can decorate it. Let's face it. If this is my flip, can I or can I not stick lace, some more lace or some ribbon down there or this piece of paper? Can I stick some paper flowers here and there? Yes, I can. Can I stick some gemstones in these like curves down the edge? Yeah, I can. So I could make it look prettier, but because that's just kind of brown and a bit boring and it just looked like nothing. <laughs> I didn't like it. So what am I actually making? I don't know. I'm going to try and make. So that was an idea. If you are gluing a fabric flip down, glue it to a bit of paper and then it flips back. And you've actually got something to write on on the back as well as maybe underneath the flip. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry, Charlie. I just flick that on you then. <laughs> So I've come on here to try and be happy. I've told you a bit about my problem, but I don't want to harp on about it. So I've come on here to try and make something. And I think all I'm going to try and make is a pretty tag. <laughs> this is the level of my craftability at the moment. I, do you know, I haven't even been able to make a tag, an ATC card. I was trying desperately to make a cluster the other night on a page and I was failing miserably and i'm like why can't i even make a cluster they're so easy you just pile stuff up on top of each other but yeah i was i'm just not in a good place really basically but unfortunately it's well i don't know when it's going to change or if it's going to change or what is going to happen who knows anyway so i'm going to try that looks nice but the 
butterfly is the wrong colour, but we can change the colour of the Flutterby. So I've got this piece of card, <clears throat> which I kind of like. And I saw an idea on Pinterest where a woman had done a page and she had just a plain card like that. Cut corners, bit of, um, bit of, um, where's it gone? Everything's moving. I had it in my hand a minute ago. A bit of linen, like bedsheet or something, tag. Um, and she had put it on a page. There was loads of other stuff going on in pages. And that's what I'm liking at the moment. I'm liking these pages that have loads of different stuff to look at. There's a pocket there and there's a tag there and there's a fold out bit. I love that. I love that. So she'd done it where she'd got a tag like this, just plain. And she'd, I think she'd paper clipped it in, but then there was a piece of vellum that came across with a stamped image on it that was sewn to the edge of the page with some lace and some ribbon. And I think there was a flap down here with a pocket on. And it was just so cool. I'm not going to make that because, yeah, I don't even think I've got the creativity for that at the moment. But I'm going to try and use this base <clears throat> with some, well, with what's on my desk, basically, except the cat. I'm not going to cut my cat up and glue him to paper. Although, you know, this fluff is quite interesting. <laughs> it's like, get off. Um, can I have a bit of fluff, Charles? <laughs> Yeah, you leave me plenty. He leaves me plenty of fluff because he's a long haired cat. He, he just leaves clumps of fluff around the house. Thinking that curly bit there, you probably need a brush at the moment. It's like, leave me curly bit alone, mum. Right, so, so I've got a tea bag. I did have another one. I did have a really dark coloured tea bag, but pff, desk's chaos, life's chaos. Everything's chaos and I don't know what I'm doing. And the other day I was so annoyed with myself and frustrated and angry, but it was not over this thing. It was over technology. Oh my goodness, how I love technology. No, I was absolutely mind blown. My brain was so frazzled after a two hour conversation on the phone, trying to sort out my stupid Wi-Fi issues after two hours on the phone dealing with, I have to say, a really lovely, very patient man, way more patient than I was. And I kept saying, I'm really sorry, but technology really frustrates me. It makes me angry. It gets me really riled. He's like, no, 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 it's fine. It's okay. Try this, try this, try this. After two, 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 two hours on the phone, my problem was not resolved. It still isn't. So I've got to ring back again and I'm like, oh my days, I can't deal with that at the moment. I came off there and I tried to craft and I'm like, my brain is frazzled. It's like a peanut rolling about in a wilderness with them things flying. Well, what do you call them? Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed rolling round in my brain and, and a peanut that was my brain just rolling round in the middle with all this tumbleweed. <laughs> I'm like... I can't do anything. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been a bit frazzled. But I'm going to put something together. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Look. How does something be there, then not be there, and then be there again? When you think it's there, but it's not. Um, scissors, Charles. Are you laid on the scissors? You are laid on some scissors, but it's not the ones that I want. Um, where's my big black scissors, baby? Are you laid on them? No. Um, actually, I should move you over because you don't really want to look at cat butt end, do you? And don't they always show us the butt end? You never get the face. It's always the chocolate starfish in your mush. I'm like, really? Seen that a million times. Don't need to see it again, thanks. Um, right, I was going over here to get some of pink and shoes. Pink and shoes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will try and focus. I will try to stay on the project. But the minute my brain is like a peanut rolling around with a load of tumbleweed and cat fluff. Um, so I think I'm going to do something with this. I like this. It's just a piece of bed sheet, I guess, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Isn't it weird how we have these pieces of paper or little bits of fabric or stuff that any other human being 
that isn't a crafter would put in the bin. And we're like really super precious about them. Oh no, no, don't throw that. I love that. I really, really like that. And they're looking at you like, what? <laughs> it's the piece of torn bed sheet. What is up with you? But I do, I really like it. So I'm going to ruffle fluff it. Fluff, fray, fray it. I'm going to fray it. So yeah, the tumbleweed brain is trying very hard to do something today. Um, I've got to go pick my granddaughter up from school at 3.15. So I'm trying to just not use any energy prior to that. Um, which crafting doesn't really take a lot of energy, does it? Apart from the fact that you have to think about what you're doing. And I can't think about anything at the moment. Um, but I'm going to try. I'm trying. Do you know why? Because I know you guys miss me. And I know that you guys like seeing what I'm doing, even if it is a lot of trash. <laughs> Are you going, Charlie? Oh, no. Oh, I thought you were going to go then and give me access to my papers. But nah. He says, no. I'm not going. Why would I go when I can get in your way? Seriously, Mum? <laughs> Bless him. In his little head off though. Um, right, so I'm going to use some of this. I don't know whether to stamp this. So this is more of a, it's not a project, it's not decorate my journal with me, it's more of a craft with me and listen to me crud. <laughs> no, you don't have to listen to my crud because I'm not going to crud anymore. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that phone call, wow, man, that blew my brain. Let's just try this. That doesn't work. Oh, let, well, tell you what, let's try everything. I don't know what it is with technology, you know, but it, it really doesn't like me. And I really, really don't like technology. Everything that man asked me to do, guess what? My device wouldn't do it. Let's go to your hub. Now, on the bottom of your hub, it gives you a number. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We'll do it manually. Yeah, I can do that. I do get stressed after a while because I can't cope with all this, you know, faffing. But anyway, get this number. Have you got the Wi-Fi hub app? I'm like, no. Right, okay, download the app. Okay, I downloaded the app. That actually went okay. <laughs> Then he says, now set up device with your app. Mm. Uh -uh. Right, okay. Well, then on the back of your hub, your Wi-Fi hub, there's a QR code. Scan that. Oh, yeah, I can do that. That's easy. Is it? Really? Not in my life, isn't. Would it scan it? No. Can I have a steady hand when I'm trying to scan some? No. So I was holding my hand like that getting it to scan, it scanned, and then it went back to scan the picture. And I'm like, I've scanned the picture. Scanned it again. I go back to the scan the picture, and I'm like, it ain't doing it. <laughs> He's like, okay, no worries. Let's try do it manually. Oh, okay then, we'll try do it manually. All right, if you press the hub on your app, yeah, yeah, done that. It takes you to a manual setup. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, got that fine that's not messing with my head at all then it says key in the ip address <laughs> um so i keyed in the ip address and it said sorry that is not valid and i'm like yeah i kind of knew it won't because on the app it had space for some numbers space for some numbers space for some numbers space for some numbers my IP address has numbers, numbers, numbers. Yes, you guessed it. Nothing to put in the last box. So I did it. No, it's not working. Try it again. No, it's not working. Just try it again. It's not working. It's asking for four sets of numbers. My IP address only has three. Oh, can you tell me the numbers? Told him the numbers. He looked. Try this. Try these numbers. Guess what? It didn't work because they only give me three sets of numbers. <laughs> so we couldn't do it automatically. We couldn't do it manually. And then he says, well, you can change broadband width. And I'm like, I'm sorry. 
I'm, okay, I'll try anything once. How do I do that? And he started laughing. He went, is your son there? And I'm like, no, he's at work. He went, would you like to call back when your son's home and maybe he can help you go through it? I'm like, yeah, I think I'll let my son do it because he's quite techy, but he has similar problems to me. He struggles with technology and everything goes wrong. He was trying to buy some furniture weeks ago um, <clears throat> where you can buy from Ikea and you get like a, a, an Ikea card and you pay for it later and there's no interest. It's not a loan, you know, it's just you pay it back. And could he echoes like do it all day, bless him. He's not doing it, Mum. It's sending me the email with a card, but it's not showing me the numbers. So I can't go to the shop and buy what I want because it's not showing me the numbers. And I'm like, yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> Those sort of things happen to me too. I'm sorry, I'm just sorry, afraid of thing. Um, so yeah, I don't know if he could have handled it more than me. But we rang, but I was in the middle of making the tea at the time. And of course, obviously, I had to talk to them first. Um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> in the end, I just said, "Jard, tea's ready. Just hang up <laughs> because it was ridiculous. Because you never get the same person. So you have to go through and explain everything all over again. And I'm like, oh, it's the same reason I don't go to the doctors. Because <laughs> at my doctors, you never see the same doctor twice. So it's like telling them your life story all over again. Right, I quite like that. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my crafting channel crafting good grief so you've done a lot of moaning but not a lot of crafting right i quite like this little thing um, i don't know why but i do i like it so i'm gonna put it there and, and that's maybe the wrong way because I've, I've got a bit of a sewing spider there um i'll put it that way and then maybe i kind of like this but it doesn't really show up on there so it could go elsewhere. So I'm just basically building a little collage out of tea bag, fabric, stamped end bits. Um, I've done all that stamping. Um, a ruffle, a mini, mini ruffle. And what else can we put on there? What else? Um, we could have some labels on there, maybe. Maybe. Do you know I'm feeling better already? Now I'm on here and I've just got a bit off my chest because I've not really had anybody to get this stuff off my chest to, well, I have, but my poor daughter, she's got the same problem on her chest. So we, we have been sharing and we have been uh, mutually agreeing on certain things that might need to happen. And yeah, it's a long story, but yeah. But I don't, I don't want to put stuff on my kids, you know. I know she's... <laughs> Well, she's in the same thing that I'm in, but it's uh, what it is. Oh, I quite like that. <laughs> I quite like that. Do you know what? I think I'm going to actually make this thing. Fres et les grains. La ferme cultives. I don't know what that is, but it looks interesting. So I like that. I'm going to chop the corners off before I stick out down because <coughs> if I stick things down and then chop the corners off it might look a bit odd because I might have to chop the corner of something else off which will look really weird and I've lost my big scissors I think Charlie has them does anybody remember you'd have to be quite old-ish to remember but when I was a kid there used to be an advert on the telly with a ginger cat called Charlie and it was all about, I think it was about like teaching kids school crossings and being careful on the roads. And Charlie says, <laughs> yeah, that's my Charlie. <laughs> it does row, row. It's got a really loud, it's got a really loud pay. It's got a really loud meow as well. Why does that look like that's not the same as that? Anyway, whatever. Shh, shh, shh. Um, glue. <coughs> Glue, glue, Barley McGrew. I always say that, don't I? I don't know why. Stupid. I'm stupid, but hey. Maybe, just maybe. I like being stupid sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I've decided this morning, because I've been really down the last few days, and it is seriously, seriously affecting my health. So, today I woke up, and, and I've been on my soapbox a little 
you know, talking to myself like I do. I reason things out, but instead of reasoning them out in my head, I say it out loud. <laughs> so it's kind of, yeah. And then I just thought, you know what? There's always the power of positivity. My dad, bless his little heart. You see, this is another problem for me. My mum and dad both have Alzheimer's and they are not who they used to be. They can't remember anything. My dad can remember things from the past. But basically, the two people that I used to go to if I had a problem was my mum and dad. And I used to talk to them and tell them. And if I cried, my mum would cry. And my dad would give me sound advice. And yeah, I haven't got that anymore. So, but I remembered this morning, dad, what would dad say? Dad would say, be positive. If you fall and say, oh, that really hurts. That really, really hurts. It's going to hurt. But if you say, oh, oh, that hurt for a bit, but it's all right. It's going to be okay. It's not that bad. It's going to be okay. It's not that bad. That's what my dad would say. The power of positive thinking. If you tell yourself it hurts, it will hurt. If you tell yourself it doesn't hurt, it won't hurt as much. Now I can see glue through my fabric, but never mind. Because um, it's going to get covered up with this. Yay. So yeah, my dad was one for positive thinking. And if you tell yourself you can't do it, you won't do it. But if you tell yourself you can do it, can do it. I can do this. I can do it. You will do it. So... That's my attitude for today. I've watched a video, I've read, and then I've thought about what my dad said. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, okay, so today I'm not going to go, oh, well, there's this and this and this and this. I'm going to go, do you know what? I'm going to crack on today. This morning when I woke up, I felt so horrendous, really ill. I thought, I'm going to ring my daughter, tell her I can't pick Ruby up from school. I'm really sorry, but I just can't do it. And then I thought, Dad, what would Dad do? What would Dad say? No, I'm picking Ruby up. I'm okay. I'm fine. And Ruby brightens my day. She actually does. When I was, um, when I hurt my knee and I couldn't walk, so I couldn't go anywhere, I couldn't do anything, I couldn't even leave the sofa, really. Um, I was having a really horrible day because of one of my ailments, I suffer. I am not diabetic, but I sometimes suffer diabetic lows um, because basically I've got a damaged pancreas that does not work properly um, due to exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, due to the insufficiency of hospitals that took over two years to operate on gallstones, which caused me to have pancreatitis four times, which has now thoroughly damaged my pancreas. But... <laughs> so yeah why was I saying that yeah I don't have a lot of energy and one day I was having a bit like a diabetic low and I felt so bad I felt like I was gonna die actually I felt so ill and my daughter came around because her partner is diabetic so they came around with his blood machine to check my bloods and da 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 and Ruby came and within minutes of Ruby being here I brightened up and I felt okay and my friend said my friend was here because she was looking after me at the time and she actually said that's all she needs you know a bit of ruby therapy <laughs> and I'm like yeah I do and I was not going to get ruby today because I was feeling so ill and fed up and oh, I just need to rest I just need to rest I do need to rest but I also I need ruby's cheerful little countenance because she is a little breath of fresh air. She really is. She's a live wire. She's like a flipping ball of energy. I wish I could bottle just a teeny bit of her energy. <laughs> just a teeny bit, I tell you. It, it would make my day because I don't have energy. What the heck's that? Something I lack an awful lot. But, um, yeah. She's, she's energetic and it's a lot kind of keeping up with her sometimes. But she does cheer me up. And I love taking the places and doing stuff with her. She does make me laugh sometimes. She's so funny. We, I took her to um, a garden centre a few weeks back and I said, shall we go to that garden centre? You get cheesecake 
it's a very posh cafe but it's in a garden center you know what i mean you get a cheesecake i kid you not it's about that big it's about the size of a 50 pence piece i'm aware people don't have 50 pence pieces in other countries so i'd say probably the size of the bottom of that glue and it's one pound sixty for this mouthful of cheesecake but she had one once and she loved it so i said shall we go and have cheesecake and a, a, a cup of tea in that cafe yeah yeah can we nana sue so i took her and last time she had a strawberry cheesecake um so i had a big strawberry on the top covered in chocolate which she absolutely loved this time they didn't have that one so she chose a chocolate one and i thought you know what i'll get one i had a raspberry one and uh it was so funny because there's three on that day that the chocolate one the raspberry one and a lemon one <laughs> so she got the chocolate i got the raspberry she had a taste of mine i had a taste of hers and then uh, i said do you know what we should have done rubes i said we should have got all three and we could have tasted them all and she's like yeah can we nana so <laughs> i should never have said it should i and i went ruby i went would your mummy let you have another one and she went no probably not <laughs> i'm like no we best not then i don't want your mum telling me off for giving you loads of um which looks better that way or oh, that way that's pale and that's coffee dyed which one guys which one tell me tell me i don't know what to do let me look at it through the camera sometimes i put things on things on camera <laughs> Or not on camera, I'm looking at it and thinking I don't like that. And then when I watch the video back, the first thing I put on there, I think, do you know what? I really liked that. I should have left that on there. So there we go. Um, that way, that way, that way, that way. I think that one, I think that goes better actually because it kind of sort of goes with that label. So I'll have to re ink. So yeah, we've had a few rainy days. We had some lovely weather beautiful weather and then we're having a few rainy days and when i say rainy i mean boy has it rained um so the cats are all in all in on the sofa on various blankets around the lounge <laughs> but charlie's decided he don't want his blanket today he wants my desk which is not that great for me for crafting so there we go that can go on there and I've made a tag. Whoa, can you believe it? After a whole week of really not making much, I've decorated a few pages. I've made a tag. We're hey. Yay! <laughs> I've actually made something I quite like. Wow. Well, that's a first this week. So, craft and chat, I'm calling this. I'm not going to call it make a blah 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 tag or make a something something pocket or whatever oh what can i do with that little bit because that's cute isn't it oops sorry <laughs> that's cute isn't it <laughs> it actually is i like that i'm gonna do something with that with a bit of tea bag and a bit of there was a bit of cheesecloth on it the other day oh, i think i stuck it on something um would you like to see a page that i've done in my journal I've got a few things set out, but because I'm in this funky mood, I'm a bit like, yeah, no, don't know. If some I don't put it down and it goes, oh, yeah, I love that. If I don't fully like it, I don't stick it. My, my working words are, if you like it, stick it. If you don't like it, leave it, come back to it and look at it later. That's my theory. Um... But yeah, I want to do something with this. <laughs> Why do I want to do something with this? I don't know. I, I just feel compelled to do something with this little scrap of scrappy nothingness. Because I kind of like it. Um, lace, maybe a bit of lace. No, 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 because it's got white. It's got white sheet there, so we need something darker. What's this? Oh, it's a little packet. Um, maybe some tea bag. Maybe some... I don't know, just a little funky thing. I like making funky things. I haven't even been able to make funky things lately. You know, stuff that you just literally just glue together and do not matter. I haven't even been able to do that. 
I'm like, what on earth is going on? That's kind of cute, isn't it? I, I don't particularly like that it's straight up there and not got a frayed bit around it. You know, like it's centred. <laughs> it is going to be centred. That's just the way I work. <laughs> it's got to be centred because that'll mess with my head. I can't have a straight bit next to a straight bit. Or going off the edge when it's supposed to be in the middle. You know what I mean? So if I put it middle, now that makes me happy. It, it won't quite make me happy before. And we need to fray it a little bit because, well, why not? Because other side's frayed, except this side don't want to fray, which is probably due to the glue that's on the underside. Okay, well, it's got a few spikes. Okay, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> I could make um, a ruffle thing out of this tea bag. I do like tea bags. I like working with tea bags. I like tea. It's a good job, isn't it? Tea makes everything better. Well, almost. Oh, that's cute. How cute is that little doo-doo there? Look. I'm going to stick it on this envelope. Actually, do you know what? I might, I might take you up again. Sorry. Sorry if I'm making you seasick. Um... <clears throat> Dauber ink. I'm going to ink. Yes, yeah, so I've been carrying on with my journal, guys. Um, it is pretty much, I wouldn't say it's done done, but it's kind of sort of almost as done as I want it to be done because it's getting really, really chunky. And I don't want it to get like the one that I made for myself because I'm going to be posting it somewhere. So it's kind of like... Um, yeah, I, I'm at a almost done phase, I think. Excuse me, I just need to plonk this on my desk because I've got nowhere else to put it at the moment. What are they doing there? Where have they even come from? Probably under Charlie's book. Um, okay, so what am I looking for? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, stencil. Stencil from the drawer. Put them back there, put this on here, and let's stencil it. Because I stencil everything, because I love stenciling. It's one of my new favourite things to do. Sorry, got a bit of your tail there, Charlie. Um, so I'm going to stencil. So yeah, I have, um, I have sort of done some stuff in my journal. I really like it, actually. It's coming along very nicely, and apart from the trials this week with me getting upset with myself not being able to do well um i have actually done something in there so yeah i've it's got a, quite a fair bit of vintage ephemera in there um really old vintage letters vintage adverts vintage postcards um it's got a lot of nice stuff in there so <sighs> very soon i hope we'll get to a flip through what a pretty little envelope. Should we do it on the other side? Because if you do it on the other side, even if you're going to glue it down, you know, it doesn't matter. You've done a bit of the inking. If you don't glue it down and you put it in a pocket, then it looks really pretty on both sides. And it was, what's up with you? Can you not get comfy on them papers or something? <laughs> Why do cats love laying on paper? Me and my son, because I felt so ill last night, we got... um. We got a well-known, because I can't advertise, can I? We got a well-known fried chicken tea last night. <laughs> and the carrier bag it came in were massive, really massive. And yes, I do keep those carrier bags for journaling. But I didn't keep that one last night, we threw it. But <laughs> Simba came and got on my knee and I'm thinking, oh yeah, yeah, you're after me chicken, aren't you? No, he was eyeballing the bag. It's like head over, looking into the bag. Well, we'd put some of our rubbish in the bag. But it was looking over like, hmm, paper bag. Looks like I could fit in there. <laughs> he didn't, though. But I think he saw rubbish in the bottom. Oopsie, I've just unruffled my ruffle. Come on, little ruffle. Ruffle tea bag. Just, can you mind that tail? Sorry, is that in your way, Lord and Master Charles the Fluff? That is his actual full name. Um, 
Charles Le Fleuf. <laughs> Charles Le Fleuf. And I called Oscar for some reason. I don't know what this word is. I don't know where it comes from. I didn't know where it meant. But when I got these kittens, he was Charles Le Fleuf because it's very fluffy. Um, and he's Charles Le Fleuf. Oscar, I called him Oscar Pushka. I don't know why. Lauren says, what, what have you called him that for? It sounds kind of Russian or something. Oscar Pushka. I'm like, I don't know, really. It just was something that came in my head and he's called Oscar Pushka. But I have since changed his name because Oscar's very timid, is very shy, is adorable, is cute. And I just, when I looked up, one day I just thought, I'm going to look up what Pushka means. And it is indeed, was it Polish or German? Not German, um... It was some foreign language and it does actually mean cannon. And I was like, cannon? It really isn't like a cannon, is it? <laughs> Apart from when he's running around in garden. But, and then I looked up Pushki because when I'm shouting him, sometimes I do call him Pushki. Pushki, come on Pushki. Um, and Pushki, I think is it Indian? I can't remember where the language was from, but pushki means adorable, cute. And I was like, there you go. Now that's his name, isn't it? Oscar Pushki. So Oscar Pushki, Charles Le Fleuf, and Simba. <laughs> Simba. Simba's just Simba, bless him. The kids chose Simba's name because he was a little kitty that was born to one of my cats underneath my son's bed in in the other house uh yeah he's 13 well, he's not 13 he's 11 he's 11 years old he's um simba so the kids named him simba and it was purely because of the uh, lion king little simba right? oh he looks like simba <laughs> so he's simba what are these why are they here i don't know they're just there, random, on their own. I'm obviously going to make something out of them, but I'll just stick them under there, under the cat fluff. So, productive afternoon. <laughs> I've made a tag in an envelope. I actually really like that little envelope. I think that little cluster there is cute. So, shall I show you what I did? Can I show you what I did? Um, the journal is massive. The journal is currently sitting open on the top of the shelf. Because it's huge. It's getting huge. Oops. Oh, this radiator. Um, so let me just put you up in the hair. 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 Um, it, yeah, it's getting rather huge. I still can push it to close it. But I would imagine that bends the thing a bit. But I don't actually fit, I, can, I don't think I can fit too much more in there, to be fair. So what do I want to show you? I'm not showing you everything, because they've been able to show you on the flip through then. What did I do? What did I do? You saw me do that. You saw me do that on a video. Um, did you see me do that? No, you didn't. You saw me do it on the page there. Um, I don't know if you saw me do that. What's that? Oh, okay. Um, I did that. Now, this is one of the pages I'm not massively keen on. But anyway, I'm going to show you. So basically, <laughs> I can't show you because it's too fat. It's, um, <laughs> it's a, it's a multicoloured page. It's like I've done it with um, food colourings. So it's like, uh, oh, I can't show you that side. <laughs> That's a work in progress. Um, it's got blues and greens and lemons and maybe a slight bit of pink. But anyway, I decided to put this script paper on it. It's all different script, bits of ledger, bits of whatever's under there, ledger. Um, so I put that as a background. I've added some of this blue, lovely teal blue paper that I had been sent in a rack because just purely because of the blue butterfly this you have seen me do before it's where I made a hinge out of a little glassine bag so that's stuck on that side this flips open it has got a pocket there actually I could do a making a notch in that it's got a pocket in between so I can put something in there um I hope I don't forget to put something in there 
I'll make a tag for that later when I get home. Something like that. Um, anyway, <laughs> so it can go in there. It opens and then I've got a glassine bag, just a bit of decoration and lots of things for the person to use. Lots of different stickers and stuff in there. Then I made this bit going down here into a pocket and you've got some stuff in there. So that's one of the pages I made. I want to show you the pink one. I don't know where the pink one is. Is it that one? It's there. So on this page, <clears throat> well, it was actually on another page that I was deciding to do a bit of a page edge collage. But I ended up doing it on here. And all I've done is stencil, sew a tag, stencil tag, put it on there for you to write on. This is just a bit of um, ephemera. But it matches with the colours. So I've used a lot of warm lipstick on there because it's pinky in pinky flowers and butterflies who don't like flowers and butterflies so that's another page that's done um yeah so that's it that's all you're getting to see but she is getting big she is quite chunky i have not put all her charms and everything on her yet these are going to have stuff on them and these at the bottom are going to have stuff dangling so she's going to be very chunky and I haven't decorated the front yet which I may do with you guys I've kind of sort of got an idea of what I might do but sometimes my decision making is not great and it takes me ages to decide so I don't know if I want to do it on camera or not because it might take me a long time but she's yeah she's getting to that I can't even stay closed anymore phase so it's time for me to stop now little friend and maybe finish you off and eventually send you to your new owner. So, yeah, a few bits I've got to finish. Um, but we're getting there. And I don't know if you, you guys like seeing me do this. If you do, please put a comment. Yes, we like watching you design the pages and what have you. Because what I've noticed on my um, feed, not feed, my videos, your viewers vary massively and some people love watching you decorate pages and others not so much and you can do something really simple like a little envelope I did the other week and you'll get loads and loads and loads and loads of views and then you do something else that you think is a bit more intricate a bit more cool and it gets like 200 views and you're like oh okay I thought that were going to be good <laughs> You can't gauge it, to be honest. And to be honest, I'm not really doing it for views and likes and sh not, what do you call it? Subscribers. I love getting subscribers. Don't get me wrong. It makes my day, especially at the moment. But it's not why I'm doing it. You know, I don't want to grow and become a big YouTube sensation. I'm not getting paid for this. I haven't monetized. I just do it because I love it. I love it. And I love sharing the experience with you guys. I love that you guys are so supportive. And you always give me the most lovely comments. And I kind of just wanted to say at the end of this video, I really do. Even if I don't comment back in the right way or you think, oh, well, you know, I put all that and that were really lovely and all she's put is thank you so much. Or it's not that I don't appreciate those comments. Sometimes it's hard to comment back in the way that you want to comment. Um, <clears throat> sometimes without going into too much detail. But I just want each and every one of you that watches me and each and every one of you that has been so kind as to subscribe and comment, comment regularly. And your support, it's been fantastic um i've had quite a few issues since i started doing this but you've always been there with your positive comments and it's so so lovely and i just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody because it really does mean a lot you might just think well i don't know you you don't know who i am are you bothered yes i am because that commendation and support means a lot and i'm pretty sure <clears throat> that me saying i love you guys being there that's nice for you as well because you think oh she actually does appreciate us yes i do i'm not a creator that's on here to get sixty thousand subscribers i'm not 
wanting to make loads of money. I'm not on here as a business. I'm not on here to grow my channel to extreme degrees. If it does, it does, and that'd be amazing. But I'm not on here for that reason. So for the people that support me, I like to say thank you every now and then, because without that support, you wouldn't even have a channel anyway. So for me, it's important to say thank you. It's important to say, do you know what? I really appreciate your comments and the lovely comments that I've had. In eight months, I think it's nine months now, in nine months of doing YouTube, I think I've had two negative comments, which is fabulous, really, um, that people are so nice. There are nice people out there. There are lovely people out there. And we've all got issues. We've all got problems. We're all facing this chaotic world that we live in with health issues maybe money issues mental health issues it's happening and i think it's nice to be supportive of other people so i want you guys to know that i do appreciate you and thank you for being there and uh, maybe you'll get a flip through of this very soon <laughs> so thank you for watching and hopefully I will be in a bit more of a creative mood and you will see me again soon. Love to you all. Thank you for watching. Bye.